expanding the channel. Should I? And how is that air gun coming along? Find out today on... The Vlog. Good morning. To turn that music on. Why are we listening to Frozen at 7.50 in the morning? <laughs> Hi. Zach. I'm not gets... leaving yet. I'm not out to spoil your fun. I'm out to keep your arms from being broken, which would affect you because a broken arm may heal, but it may not heal. Yeah, a broken arm would I do be not... really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Stop. I'm video. Let go, you... Turn it off! Let me get it. Ah. Turn it off! You're gonna ruin it! You almost hit that with your camera! Well, you stop doing that! You are... Stop it! No. I didn't get you permission! You're the one doing this! Jake, turn Mama, it you're off! Like, stop! <laughs> turn it off! <laughs> I'm stuck now. I can't move anywhere. Alright. All right, so we are going to work today. All four of us, apparently, because Ben and Sam wanted to come as well. Don't know why, they're not getting paid. We are, uh, shut up. We're prepping a, f a friend, friend's house. Yeah, friend of ours, some friends, some very good friends. <laughs> uh, some very good friends of ours are moving, um, like, across the street. They bought another house and they've been renovating it. Not kind of funny. From us. Well, no, across no, yeah, no. across the street from where they used to live. Kind of funny. And um, we're prepping the exterior of their house to paint it. <clears throat> and uh, that's what we're doing today. We're heading up there and gonna do more of that. That was super lame. Enjoy the ride. Welcome to the vlog. Driving with your knees is like one of the greatest skills you need to have in driving. Everything else you do, you know, it's, it's important, but like not as important. Because what happens if you need a text or something? You gotta drive with your knees, obviously. See right now, I can talk with my hands well, and still drive. Them. Well, not necessarily texting and driving, but like eating a Frosty while driving. Heck yeah. <laughs> you laugh. Exactly. Just wait till you're driving. This is the ugly house that we're gonna try to make less ugly. Glorious. All of this stuff is covered with peeling paint. We've been working on scraping that away for like the last week. First off today, we're gonna start by caulking all of it, which should be super fun because it's kind of cold. And when you put your cold hands in cold water, it's all colder. So let's get doing that. Talking is only a little boring on camera, so I'm not going to show a lot of it. I like listening to podcasts while I work, or music. Right now though, I think I'm going to listen to some music. The Bourne Identity soundtrack. We just watched all the Jason Bourne movies. I know they came out a long time ago, but uh, the music is amazing. John Powell, super good composer.
Well, I've been working on caulking. A bunch of other nutheads have been painting up on the roof. Get us painting. This is super dope. I almost fell asleep. Super like, what? Like, it's dope. Uh -huh. Oh. She will not stop painting me. Well, he just got me. Dude, you're wasting. Y'all be careful and don't fall. She almost fell like three times already. I well, almost fell like four well, times. No one's fallen off yet. That'll probably change. <laughs> so I've been thinking of kind of expanding the channel a little bit, doing more uh, vlogs like today, and um, kind of some other stuff because I have a lot of other interests that don't um, necessarily come out like in just my projects. So it's it's limiting the videos I make if I just build projects and. Um, it also means I can't put out as many videos as if I was also posting other stuff. Like today, I'm at work, can't build anything, so I can give you a fun video about my day at work. I asked y'all what you would think about me expanding my horizons a little bit. Let's see what you had to say. Luke from LHI Production said, sounds good, mainly because I want to see that short film. Ha <laughs> nice Luke. I am gonna post that. Bethany says, for sure. Thanks for that, Bethany. Calvary Carpentry, who you guys should look up. He does some really cool woodworking. Says, I think that short films would be a great idea. By the way, about what the Happy Mad Scientist said about your builds is totally not true. What you make is pretty sweet. <laughs> Happy Mad Scientist said, yes, my cheapo thoughts. Your personality is why people sub to you. Your builds suck, but your on-camera personality is super engaging. Anything you put out will be enjoyed in my opinion. Whereas my builds are sweet, but my on-camera personality sucks. Well, happy mad scientist, I now completely hate you. And um, the collab is off. We're done. I'm not, I'm not associating with you at all anymore, you loser. Well, thanks. Um, I know you're joking. I hope you're joking, because otherwise I'd cry on camera. Apocalypse Pyro, heck yes, dude, okay. Ashley Renfro, um, yes. And Jake, it would be my bros and I. Ashley Renfro, you're such a mom, Ashley. Don't correct me on my own YouTube channel. It's not cool. <laughs> she hates it when I call her a mom. Um, Jean-Luc Thialt. I know I mispronounced that, but I don't care. I'm new here, so my opinion doesn't mean much, but that sounds cool. Well, jean luc welcome to the community. Glad to have you. I agree. I think it'd be really fun if I started posting more different kinds of videos. You know how I was doing the Just Brilliance? I quit doing that because I didn't really like that format. I am thinking I'm going to revamp that as a live stream where I can uh, take your guys' live suggestions and comments about different projects and run over them and we can have more of a discussion. That would be pretty sweet. Maybe do some reviews, like some gear I really love. Like for instance, I just went and bought this uh, Gerber tactical pen. Brace yourselves, I bought this for $50. That'd make a great video. Like why the heck would anyone spend $50 on a pen if they're in their right mind, which I'm not in my right mind. I don't know, a lot, lot, lot of other fun stuff I could do with this channel. I'd love to see more of your suggestions and what you think. That'd be cool. <sighs> Guys, come on, let's go. There's the bell. Yeah, it is crowded, didn't it? What do y'all want to eat? How many things are we allowed to have? Two. You're texting Luke again. Always texting. Yeah, you are always texting him. That's mine. Oh, that looks good. Like my hair? I did too. So I'm sure you're all wondering like what's what's up with the air gun project. I said in the last video that next week will be part two when it'll be finished. I lied. No, I actually, um, it didn't work. When I did the test in uh, the first video, it seemed like it was gonna work out fine, that it had enough power. After attaching the magazine and everything, though, it uh, did not work so fine. I had everything working, as far as the mechanics of it, and um, then I fired it, and it's just seriously, seriously lacking in power. It's super frustrating, because I was like pretty much done with the build. I've got a couple options which are, one, find a smaller, lighter projectile. Tonight, actually, after work, I'm gonna stop by a hardware store and see if I can find a barrel that would fit a one quarter inch steel ball, which is a lot lighter, a lot smaller, theoretically shoot a lot faster. 
I've also got one other thing I'm going to try, which is to bypass the blowback system so I can conserve the amount of air and shoot all the air out the barrel instead of wasting some of it on blowing back the uh, mechanism. In the next video on that, I'm going to try both of those and fingers crossed one of them will work and I'll end up with a good gun. Otherwise, that project's a complete waste of money. No, it's not. It's actually not a waste of time or money because now we know what won't work. Wasn't it Thomas Edison who, uh, after 500 attempts at making a light bulb, he said, well, uh, you failed 500 times. He said, no, no, no. I've found 500 ways that won't work to make a light bulb. Still making progress. You're still learning. Now we know that paintball guns aren't good to modify into air guns. You like that? That sound good, inspiring? Yeah. Let's go! Where are they going? Pan! You did not just did you make get that. that? Yeah, you got I think it. I got it. I hope I got it. That was awesome. That was go. Let's go. Guns here we are. Arrived. Okay. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, hardware folks. folks. Oh. All right, so I'm at Ace. Got some nine thirty seconds aluminum tubing that seems to fit just right over this one quarter inch dowel or rod right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this as my new inner barrel and then try to modify the gun to shoot one quarter inch steel balls instead of three eighths inch steel balls. Might just work, it might just not. We're gonna have to find out. Okay, y'all, it got so crazy in there that these two little morons playing around, did, I had to get out of did the they car. see? What? Sam? No, nothing. He is being a Sam bomb. attacked me. <laughs> a legit bomb. Me. All right, put it down. Come on, we gotta go. They're doing an upper mint. All right, so I'm gonna play around Link. I know, but I gotta figure out an outro here. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. This. That was smart. This is a backlight for you guys. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Jake Makes. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little vloggy thingy today. And. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> I just thought that, that that was glorious. That, that was, was glorious. glorious. And uh, on that <laughs> note, go now, get off YouTube, go do something creative with the brain in your head, and I'll see you next time.